soldiers to get out of the queue and take a hold of the power that John and Peter used. Get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. The Lord is calling baby for those who would be saved.
going to pull it out. I'm going to let them do it, and I'm going to get out of the way. It wasn't on our set list. It wasn't on our recommendation list. But this song is the favorite. Is my favorite song that we do. And Daniel and I don't even play on it. We just get back out of the way and let them sing. These two have some of the finest harmonies you're going to find anywhere, and this song reaches out and touches my heart every time they sing it. Would you please listen to Ty and Julie as they sing New Again? Mother, do not cry for me. All of this is exactly how it's supposed to be. And I'm right here. Can you hear my voice? My life, my love, my Lord, my baby boy. As they nail me to this tree, just know the Father waits for me. And God, how can This is not, it's not the end. I am making all things new again. And I remember when you were born in that manger where I first held you.
piece of paper down there in front of him that has the song names on it. Most people I call it a, most groups call that a set list. We call it a recommendation list. <laughs> Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Are you grieving over joy departed? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. You know other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. sang with Kanan Bound, Gary just swore off of ever having a bluegrass band here, and I couldn't figure out why until we got here tonight, and our sound man was late, and we didn't sound check until late, and then I figured out why he didn't want a full band up here on stage. But uh, during sound check, I broke a string, and I put a couple of new things on here, and, uh, and it's not holding tune very well for me, so I apologize for that. Let's see. You're gospel music fans out there, right, everybody? Well, this next one we're going to do is one by a, is done by a bluegrass group that has gospel albums as many as you can count, and he does an awesome job. Any Doyle Lawson fans out there in the crowd? Anybody know who that one is? 
Well, this is a Doyle Lawson song. We're going to see if we can make this one work for you. No. 
makes him sing. He is from Neosho, Missouri, and uh, he, he's, I played with him on stage for, what we say, it's been 10, 15 years now. He was a young pup at that time, didn't have all the facial hair. Matter of fact, I don't even think he was shaving back then. It's taken him since then to grow that beard. <laughs> Would you put your hands together and make him welcome Mr. Daniel Schilling. Standing right over here next to me, just thumping this plank like a boss. This is our band mom. Every band has one. Mercy's Calling has a band mom. I don't know who it is. It's probably that kid singing the high part. I'm not sure. Man, he was singing that up there. That was awesome. Did you enjoy those guys? Yeah. Julie is the rose among the thorns up here on stage. She is up here playing bass. She's up here singing. She's going to do some lead vocals for you here before the night's over. She does harmony stuff. She's one of the finest female vocalists you're going to find on any bluegrass stage anywhere. And she's from Seneca, Missouri. Would you make her welcome, Miss Julie Dawson? <laughs> Standing right next to her is her husband. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. He married up. I'm just telling you, that is absolutely what happened. Metaphorically. metaphorically, yeah, metaphorically. Yeah. This guy is, uh, he's just very talented. He is a phenomenal songwriter. Uh, we do some of his original music. I think we have one later in the set list if we get to it. And uh, he is a second generation bluegrass picker. He is a second generation Baptist preacher. So if you don't have any place to go to church on Sunday, Bethel Baptist in Seneca, Missouri, we have some of his church folks back here with us. And he is a second-generation farrier. If you need your horses shod, we're taking appointments out at the, at the table, uh, the merch table when we're done. He does an okay job at that, too. And he is a first-generation auctioneer. He just finished auction school about three or four months ago. And he hasn't really got to do too many auctions yet. So I thought we would come out here tonight and let him show you what he learned in school. And... I think we've got something for you to auction off. We got yet yeah, we have we have a borderline CD right over there That's that right. we're going to auction off. And trust me, I'm just trust me on this when I say this because sometimes people don't bid. You want to bid in this auction. It will be worth your while. When we were packing these CDs, Ty lost a hundred dollar bill and we haven't sold it yet. So there's one of them in this CD in these CDs somewhere. So you're going to want to bid on this one, Ty. Why don't you start it off, man? All right, we're going to start the bidding off at three hundred dollars. And here, we're not going to do that. But how about two and a half now? Two and a half dollar to five. What do you get? Five dollar now. Two and a half dollar to five. Where? Five where? Five dollars now. Seven and a half. What do you get? Seven and a half dollar to seven and a half dollar now. Fifteen. What do you get? Fifteen dollars. Ten dollar now. Twelve and a half. What do you get? Twelve and a half now. Fifteen. What do you get? Fifteen dollar and fifteen dollar now. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half dollar now. Twenty. What do you get? Twenty dollars. Seventeen and a half dollar now. Twenty. What do you get? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars sold. Twenty dollars right over here, sir. You got it. We're going to give it to you. We're not going to bid.
baskets if you Lift me up. 